Alright. I'm back with another video. Oh, car in here? I have two. Where'd this cop car come from? I want it. Come on, dude, really? I get a sirens on, but it's don't do the right stop. In the middle of the road, not even like pulling over, you just stop in the middle of the road. Come in, come in. Thanks. You must be Michael. Yeah. You know, I used to have three secretaries. Now I have to make my own coffee and give myself a happy ending. <laughs> See, the ships are coming in. But the walls will hold us. Nelson in Naples. Pluto? I said Mars, you cocksucker. <laughs> Shoulder of Orion. Two. Devin Weston said you were a fan. Huge fan. Tell me, Michael. Devin Weston, did he... Does he want you to bump me off? No, not at all. He said you were retiring but might need some help on a movie. Only assholes retire, Michael. Him and my son, they want to put me out to pasture so they can turn this place into condos or a theme park or something. But this place is a dream factory. Well, maybe they have different dreams. Some days, I don't blame them. Always say, never work with children or animals. Well, I want to add to that list. Never work with directors or actors. This picture is going to kill me. All right, what's it about? It's perfect. Set in Liberty City. Meltdown. <laughs> it's all being shot on green screen right out back there. We take a look at the financial crisis. Then we boil it all down into a really simplistic battle between two yuppies with lots of training montages. So what's the problem? Milton McElroy. I cast him in the second lead because he's cheap. Zero talent, incidentally. Well, he's got this new agent, Rocco Pelosi. He's been hassling us about renegotiating the deal. So now... He's holding up shooting until he gets paid. That sounds problematic. It would be if the director wanted to shoot. Anton Baudelaire. Him? That doesn't surprise me. Now he's having a mental breakdown, pissing all over himself who knows where. <sighs> all right. Looks like you got yourself that new assistant. But no happy endings. <laughs> I love you already. <laughs> All right. I don't think I would go with this person. Right Hey, Solomon, I'm just doing that thing. Good, good. Now, I realized in my excitement, I forgot something. I'm gonna blow up. Yeah, it seemed obvious. You want this Pelosi guy clipped. No, God, no. Is that an option? No, no, no. Bad idea, bad idea. No clipping anyone. Just teach him some manners. He's also in my director's ear as well, if you'd believe it. So teach this punk a lesson and bring the talent back to set. Ideally, 
in a more collaborative mood. I'll see what I can do. They all gonna be at the club? I'm told it isn't a club so much as a rat pit. Anton and Milton are supposed to be there, and Pelosi's on the way to pick them up. He's taking them to his lawyer to sign the contracts. So if he hears there's someone from the studio coming, he'll get him out fast. All right. I'll go in quiet. I'll see you on the set, boss. Gentlemen, how you like this space? It's gonna be an EDM paradise. There's gonna be sparklers stuck in bottles, implants, tramp stamps, all the real shit. That's Pelosi Entertainment. Now give me a minute here, just a minute. I gotta go grab something inside. Johnny, we nearly got the club. We're finally a go. Now you take care of these guys. No cold feet. Okay? Let's go. All right. Do I have a special email with me? Oh, this. It's hard to tell with these mob guys, you know. I don't know if he actually wants to turn it into a club. Or, you know, burn it down and claim the insurance money. You've seen the movies, right? It's the kind of scam they run. McElroy, Milton McElroy. Day trip's over, gentlemen. You're going back to set. Club ain't open, Snowbird. Who's this jackass? Hey, you! Oh, turns out these guys are in love with their contract. So they'll be going back to the set with me. Can you believe this fucking clown? No! This guy's all mine! Ha <laughs> 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 Violence always makes me want to use. What? Because I kicked him in the leg. Who's? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna make a new deal. You leave my people alone, and I don't toss you off this roof. All right, yeah. Okay, sure, man, sure. All right. Let's get back to the lot. We are not going anywhere. Look, you can bully him, but you can't bully talent, buddy. We are not shooting until I get a new deal. Can't bully talent? Just watch me. You're gonna be a good boy when I'm done. We're going too fast, man! He's out of control! Can you control it at this speed? Put on the brake, Slick! We're going to break up! We're going to break up! Enough! <laughs> Enough! Alright, I'll do the shitty movie <laughs> for the shitty money! I'll do anything you want! I'll blow you! Okay! See? That wasn't so hard! Now let's get you back to work! Hey, Milton! What? I think you owe an apology to Mr. Richards. Would I be in pain? No, he should apologize. 
apologize to me. Solomon's office. Come on. Look, I'm feeling a little keyed up. How about I call my guy, go on a little jolly, and call Solomon from wherever I wake up in, in a week? How about you see him right now? And we go flying again if you even look like you'll fail a piss test at any point on this shoot. Hi. <laughs> what a wonderful surprise. Anton, my boy. You're an artist, I know that. And this story is the best kind of art. A simplistic, cliché-ridden pile of dross that you will turn into magic. Get a grip. I love ya. So, Solomon, Milton here has a little something he wants to say to you. Say it. Ah, uh, I, I just, just want to say that I'm sorry for any misunderstanding, sir. And I, I appreciate all the opportunities that, that, that you've given me. Of course, of course. Michael, what can I say? You're a natural. I love you. Well, you're too kind. No, no, I mean it. I don't mean to presume. But would it be okay if I gave you a shout? This shoot seems cursed for some reason or another. I need an associate producer. I'd love that. We'll talk soon. I gotta go. Oh, hell yeah. Hey, Mr. Madrazo. How's that rebuild going? Good. I need to see you. Come to La Fuerta Blanca, my ranch off Senora Road, and bring Mr. Clinton. Hey, look. Franklin? I hardly know the kid. I don't want him caught up in this. You'll need another pair of hands. All right, there's another guy. Trevor Phillips. Me and him are partners. Okay. I'll have my people messenger him. This. It's a thing. You said you wanted work. This is work. Uh-huh. And who's the guy? You'll see. Yes? Hi. <laughs> oh. Hello. We're looking for Mr. Madrazzo. Patricia, for fuck's sake, just let him in. Right this way, gentlemen. <laughs> Patricia, get us something to drink, would you? Quickly! Hey, good to see you again, Michael. <laughs> Likewise. Uh, it's my friend Trevor. Uh, sit down. Sit, sit, sit. So, what did you tell him about me, about Martin Madrazo? Martin's an old friend of mine, Trevor. The He's truth. A... Martin is a terrifying psychopath who tried to kill me. Exactly. Uh, uh, but some people. <laughs> They no longer fear me as much as they used to, people who wear clothes to me. Uh, my cousin, uh, you met in my call. <laughs> well, apparently, he's thinking about testifying against me. So I have him killed. I'm going to. Yeah. By you. Our debt was settled. This is a favor. For a friend. But does friendship mean nothing these days? Ah, uh, hello? What's the deal? This is him. Javier, he's flying off to Liberty City this afternoon. <whistles> and he's taking some files of mine. Innocent files that um, I need back. There's a gun set up in the hills. I have a man watching at the airport. We'll let you know, and when he flies by, shoot him down and get the files back. A man, what's a pay? <laughs> huh? Trevor, come on. You still want a drink? Not now! Pendeja! ¿Qué no ves que estoy hablando con las gentes aquí? All right. You grab a vehicle, something versatile. I'll handle the gun. 
Trotting shit with more brains. Hey, and let's stay in touch on the headsets. You know how much this car costs? Okay, well, I ain't at the observatory yet. Start heading that way. By the way, I know why you took me there, to that guy's house. Understood. Understood what? That he's a terrifying psycho and that you might have that in common? What is it? We gotta work for him. We don't gotta work for anyone, but I read you, man, loud and clear. What are you talking about? All that Aztec stuff. Those weird little artifacts. What? We weren't casing the joint. We didn't agree to a fee for this job, so what's it all about? Okay, the guy lives well. That don't mean we're robbing him, but it does mean he's got money to pay people who help him. When the time comes, he'll do the right thing. If he don't, please, let me handle it. You don't get a wife like that without being rich and an asshole, right? The fuck? All right, I see the van with the gun in it. You nearby? Not far out. Shoot the plane down, and I'll be ready. T, if you could see this gun, it might convince you Martin Madrazo ain't someone to be messing with. The fancier the gun, the bigger the pussy who owns it. Now take Jet. Engine's gone. Plane's coming down. You want it? President comes out in the air traffic control channel. There's a small jump coming up! This is flight November 9 or Charlie Echo. Our engine number 2 is blown. Roger, November 9 or Charlie Echo. Fly heading 240. Stay your souls on board. Pilot's fighting it, but he's going down! Good. Stay on it. We need the files. Flight November 9 of Charlie Echo. Stay your souls on board. Two souls on board. Engine 2 totally lost. All hydraulics lost. All hydraulic systems are gone. Roger, November 9 of Charlie Echo. Where are you putting it down? We're not gonna make the runway. We're gonna have to ditch the son of a bitch and hope for the best. Past the airfield! Landing ain't gonna be pretty! Where are you putting it down? Can you make the elbow to the airfield? Can't pull it round! I have to put it down in the field somewhere. Oh, 
only thing they farm out here is methamphetamine. Ah, Trevor's first country. God, I miss it out here. You gotta come visit sometime. Yeah, you know what? I'm good. Losing altitude rapidly. I'm gonna have to bring it down in dirt. God help us. Roger, November 9 to Charlie Echo. What is your status? God help us. They're in the dirt! Good. Get the files. And if the cousin made it, take him out. Sure thing, but seriously, bro, coming all the way out here, we gotta get paid. Just do the job. I'll get us paid down the road. Take him to Madrezzo and explain the human cost of this errand. Oh, take it easy, man. Listen to me. We'll talk about that later. I want <laughs> you to just drop off the files. I gotta get rid of this rifle, then we'll talk. Come on, I can't take the car. Change of plans. You don't need to come to the ranch. Meet me at Stoner Cement Works. A little up Sonora Road from there. What are you doing, Trevor? Nothing you wouldn't do. Trevor! Trevor! Ah. I wouldn't do. Somehow I don't believe that. Where is he? Uh, the fuck has happened? Why did he have his car? Man, that piece of turd, huh? No wonder people are stabbing him in the back. What? Happened, cheap bastard. You know, I really don't know why you mess around with people like that, Mike. I mean, really, I Trevor! don't. Answer a fucking question. I asked for a fair day's pay after a fair day's work. Then he kind of got a little angry. So I admit, I kind of got a little angry. Did you kill him? What kind of fucking animal do you take me for? No, I didn't kill him. Oh, fuck. But I did kidnap his wife. 
Oh, no. Oh, shit. The fuck did you do? Oh, I just told you what I just did. Now, oh, shit. Uh, unfortunately, I think that we're going to have to lay low for a little while oh. while, you know, we discuss things with Martin. Oh, you think? Why don't you hop in the back? All right, now, Patricia, she already called Shotgun. <laughs> now, I know a nice oh, little shit. place we can hang out. You know, it's a, a very relaxing oh. little spot. A little getaway, if you will. A cabin in the woods. You know what I'm saying. Come here, boy. 